your love at all. Greetings, I am Malficious, and I'm back with more of DC Universe Online. And last time, I did some police instances in Gotham, and then I came to Metropolis to try and help out Gorilla Grodd. And this time, I try and complete that, but uh, first, I've got some mail from Lex Luthor. Thanks from the corner office. Wayne Enterprises lost my game. Thanks for gathering those suit circuits. Make sure my newest line of suits makes use of this technology right away. Keep your eyes open on all the interesting new opportunities. And it looks like I got Circuit Breakers Jewel. Hold on. Okay, sorry about that. Um, probably just sell that in. And you know what, I might as well use the EXP booster. Oh, I guess I don't have that anymore. I guess it expired. Alright, well, never mind. Um, huh. I pressed Z for fast travel, I'm not sure why. Uh, but anyway, yeah. Apes of Wrath. Need to go back into Metropolis. Uh, yeah, I, um, well, yeah, I had to return all of the other comic books I had last time because they were due, so, and I picked up some new comic books from the library, mostly a bunch of Marvel stuff I have, I now have, I've, I'm borrowing volumes one and two of Captain America Sam Wilson, because, um, yeah, it was kind of interesting. The Marvel Universe, there was an event or something, well, something happened that caused the Super Soldier Serum to be drained from Steve Rogers, and so that aged him Stand massively. Down. And so he passed the shield on to Sam Wilson, who before this was known as the Falcon. And, uh, and this is, it's a good thing I had to back out so because... So long as you're heading to Star Labs, I think Luther wouldn't object if you smashed up some of those Star Labs power generators. Because apparently I didn't actually get that quest. But, yeah, so, so Sam Wilson becomes Captain America, and, um... One minor hitch. Grodd and his army isn't about to let any human help him with his equipment. I'm sure you won't mind giving in to your primal instincts for a bit. Simply push a button. The effect will be purely temporary. That's definitely an interesting take. What's that? Stand What's by for me? the next stage of your evolution. Sam Wilson's reign as being... Enjoy your higher state of being. Pretty strongly liberal. So, he does something that Cap never does. He actually starts taking an involvement in politics. Uh, but yeah, that makes a whole lot of people hate him. Because, you know... So... So there ends up being a confrontation between Sam Wilson and S.H.I.E.L.D. To the point where he's no longer sanctioned by the US government. Fall back. Fall back. We need a bigger gun. Uh so yeah, the the first volume of the book this can't is be it's actually called Not My Captain America, which you know, considering the, all of the recent Not My President stuff. It's interesting. What has Grodd done now? Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, and there's another thing. Uh, it's definitely worth reading Captain America Sam Wilson. For one thing, and one thing alone in the first volume. Wolf, Captain America. Neil Grodd sent you. It is time for me to go. 
and I'm not going to say I'm not going to spoil it any more than that. It's just it's really funny and worth seeing. But yeah, then I also picked up um, I also picked up Uncanny X Men. I'm hit. It's actually this one's actually a hardcover book, but it's the again I picked it up. The main reason I picked it up is because. It, Brian Michael Bendis wrote it, so I'm curious. So I was curious to see, You're and just it's another of Grodd's mindless slaves. well, it's definitely intriguing. We need backup. This isn't one of Grodd's usual monkeys. There's something different about this monkey. Uh, but yeah, what happened is um. Don't make me do this. It's, it's definitely... Some events have conspired in the Marvel Universe up to the point that, um... The Phoenix Force, which... If you... If you're a fan of X-Men, you'd probably know what Phoenix the Phoenix Force is. But, yeah, it's, um... It's this alien entity that possessed Jean Grey for a while. Down, man! Uh... But, yeah... Anyway, it came back and um, it ended up possessing Scott Summers, aka Cyclops. And so, while he was under its control, he killed Charles Xavier. So that happened, and stand by for the next stage of your evolution. Uncanny X-Men actually picks up. He's enjoy your higher state of being. He's actually split off from the the well the X and I have kind of been split into two. You've got Kitty Pride, who stayed in New York, leading the Jean Let's Grey school. Ugh, this can't be happening. Hit. And so Scott Summers has set up the Charles Xavier School of, or the new Grodd's Xavier School slaves. somewhere in a hidden row facility where he so that he can um train new mutants as they appear. Proximity and it's interesting. Alert. He's got he's got Emma Frost, the Ice Queen with him. And he's also got Magneto with him because Don't now Magneto's a good guy again. Uh, but yeah, that's the thing. We need Part the This isn't one of Grodd's usual monkeys. Fall back. Fall back. We need a bigger gun. Part of the whole thing for saying is that it's it severely messed up a number of mutants' powers, so so hey. Cyclops can't control his his uh, his concussive blasts anymore. Okay, I complete the survival of the Fist story arc. Uh, but yeah, not only Scott Summers, but Magneto's lost most of his powers. He doesn't have the massive, the major control over magnetism that he used to, but he can still control, he can still manipulate small objects, allowing him to throw knives and bullets. This can't be happening. Which is, means he's still pretty deadly. Yeah, and Emma Frost. There's something different about this monkey. She's lost the ability to control her telekinesis, her or her psychic powers. Rather, she doesn't have telekinesis. At least I don't think so. Decontamination starting. All human contaminants will be removed. Uh, All but... human contaminants have been removed. Have a nice day. Proximity alert. Oh, good. I'm back to being a human. Which makes this a lot, will make this a lot, quite a bit easier. Okay. Yeah, now that we've got, now I've got my normal powers and weapons again. And, and the ability to do actual combos. I'm hit. 
Okay, but, um... Yeah, I'd say it's kind of worth reading. It, it sort of also ties into that all-new X-Men thing, because, um... Angel ends up go going with them to... And then later on, all the... All the classic X-Men end up with... At, uh, so at the New Xavier School. Which is really awkward, considering you've got young Cyclops there with old Cyclops at the same time. So, it's worth checking out. Okay. Quickly, the Flash and his full mentor will be here in seconds. This Devolver will transform one of them into an ape, allowing me to bend his will with my powers. Not so fast, Grodd. You've threatened humanity for the last time. Yep, and both flashes the are here now. The Speed Force just got an upgrade. Insolent human, I will pulverize you both. Feel the wrath of Grodd! Activate the Devolver. It will turn one of these speedsters Must into my slave. Okay, yeah, so original Flash. Yeah, there have been... Well, there's been more than two people with the name Flash. Flash. Yeah, the original Flash, Jay Garrick, first appeared in the Golden Age of Comics, you know. Um, on, you know, same era as Superman and Wonder Woman. But, uh, yeah, Jay Garrick... He was a. You're giving the flash. So you mine you belongs to it. me now, flash. Let me return the favor. <laughs> yeah, he was a college student who was uh, conducting an experiment on hard water or heavy water. Anyways, anyways, he. Command <laughs> flash. Me. Attack for Grodd. He, um, yeah, he passed out and spent an entire night inhaling the fumes of heavy water. And that somehow gave him super speed. Attack. Meanwhile, the, the next person Flash was uh, Barry Allen, who's there, you see, yeah, Jay Garrick's the one with the winged hat. And Barry Allen's the one in the full red skin suit. Anyways, he got his powers because a bolt of lightning came through the window into his... Yeah, a bolt of lightning came through his... came through the window into his criminal science lab because he's a criminologist. And so he got covered in. And so the lightning you struck a. You destroy what you do not understand. The lightning struck a. A whole bunch of chemicals. Or a shelf full of chemicals. And so that, uh. Gave him superpowers. It's ridiculous. Today, windy, with a high chance for tornadoes. Uh, and yeah, the Flash comics. The Flash comics are definitely interesting, specifically show. Well. Now leave me. My new plaything should keep me amused. Have to time. escape. <laughs> Have to stop you. Yeah, check out Showcase Presents the Flash Volume One. It's interesting. Faster than lightning, that's me. Fastest man on earth. I'm always on the go, and I wouldn't want it any other way. Move fast, think fast, and these days, there's a serious need for speed. So when some super genius claims they're gonna slow me down or stop me in my tracks, I say bring it. Cause to me, they're just standing still.
Okay, so school of hard knocks, the flash defeat, the flash and star labs without using any don't I don't know. Think you've won yet. Obviously not without being knocked out because I failed that.